In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to compress a video file for easy upload into the EdTPA website. We're going to use a program called Handbrake, which is free and multi-platform. That means that you can use it on Windows, Mac, and Linux. It is recommended that you download Handbrake from handbrake.fr. Make sure that you download Handbrake from this site so that you do not download any kind of malware to your computer. Once you've successfully downloaded Handbrake to your computer, you can now open Handbrake. When you first open Handbrake, it will ask you where the file exists that you want to convert. Locate the file and click Open. This will now populate the information in Handbrake with the file that you want to convert. If you already have Handbrake open or if you need to select a different source video, click the source button. This will allow you to choose the correct video. Now we're going to use some of the settings within Handbrake so that we can get the best compression for our video. We're going to change the file format to an MP4. By default, this is the selected file format. If you do not see the pop-out window for devices, click Toggle Presets. Choose iPhone and iPod Touch. This will now change some of the settings and codecs within the Handbrake tool. Click the Audio tab, and we're going to change this to Mono. No reason to have Stereo if it's just VoiceOver, meaning that as you do your presentation, you're speaking in a Mono voice, not in Stereo. That will reduce the file size. We're going to change our bit rate a little lower, just down 1 to 64. Now we can jump back over back to our video tab and click start. You will see the encoding taskbar and the progress of your video. This shouldn't take too long, however, the longer your video, the longer this will take. Once the compression is complete, you will get a dialog box, put down that cocktail. This means that your file has been compressed and converted to an MP4 file. Click OK. Now you can open your file and watch the file to make sure that everything works OK. Once you know that everything works OK, you should be able to right click the file. On a Mac, you're going to click Get Info. And on a Windows machine, you're going to click Properties. This will tell you how much of a file compression we had. This file has been compressed to 7.8 megabytes. The original file was 6.23 megabytes. We can see that our original file has been compressed quite a bit to 7.8 megabytes from 62.3 megabytes. This will vary for your video as your video may be longer and may have other aspects making it a larger file size. Good luck, and if you have any questions, please contact Jerome Gratney in the Academic Technology Services Department. My email and phone number are located in this video, so please call me if you need further assistance in compressing your video.